Hey, welcome back there. We're going to do some more Rate My Base episodes here. So we're going in with King J-Dub, level 58. Uh, a little bit of gold boosting gear. Uh, I don't have anything else. I could change that, but it, it's, it's five points. is not a like a difference maker. If I had anything else, I would change it because these bases were just trying to attack. See, I put on my leadership ones. We're trying to attack and trying to beat. We're not necessarily trying to farm gold on these guys. So we do have a little bit of fire resistance. Or fire shield, I should say. And I have tested that. That actually will just block the first 400 points of fire damage that you take. So there's our hero. We'll look at the spells just real quick. We're just unlocking the blade storm in about a day or so. So you can see they're 8 hours, and we'll have the blade storm on this account. The mortar's unlocked. So we're going to go and try and attack uh, a couple of the players that we tried to attack yesterday, but they were online. So you may remember this guy's name, Doug SSB. So overall, I like the road setup. Uh, he should have a firebolt tower in that corner right there great spot and then he should have another fireball tower up there we talked about that a little bit earlier in the other um, episode when I tried to attack him putting a fireball tower up there would be great so definitely either make another one and put it there or uh, if you have two already move one if not you know you're just gonna have to try and stay off and make another one and put it right there that's a great spot good setup this is gonna do a lot of damage over here uh, it might be like friendly where people think all oh, this is easy and they come in and they just die because they don't realize how much damage this does um it's an interesting setup that there's a lot of spikes on the ground i don't remember this being that many spikes last time i would probably take out two of those spikes at least and put more barricades uh you don't need that many spikes and they die really really quick he, the game is saying this guy is very strong compared to us. 31 trophies, so we shouldn't be able to beat him. Uh, a lot of medals as well. Typically when the game shows you a big amount of trophies, good amount of medals, uh, it means he's a tougher opponent. So he has a lot of mortars as well. A lot of ranged troops. Very few paladins. Um... That will work out until we get past like this corner over here, until we get around. Then his range troops aren't going to be as effective, because he has nothing kind of blocking them. So I probably would recommend just off chance more Paladins. Uh, but we're going to have to see. If his Pyromancers are strong enough level, then we won't be able to kill them with our Sword Rain. And then we'll be screwed. So for this setup, uh, I like... The troop selection that we have here, Pyromancers, Cannon, and Knights. And then the spells, you got to keep those for right now. Um, Firestorm is probably the strongest spell in the game that you get early on. Sword Rain is a must for all the ranged troops. And then Hammer Strike is just a great damaging spell that does a lot of damage. and will help you get you know, further in the base. Since we know we're not actually going to defeat the base, we could swap out the Hammer Strike for either the stun spell, the heal spell, or the shield spell. And that would get more benefit out of our troops. The stun spell is pretty cool. Uh, it will stun all the buildings. So we'll actually go ahead and try that and give a demonstration on that. It has a very big area effect as well. So it's a range of 5.5, just as big as the sword rain. So we're going to mix up our strategy just a little bit. And the reason we're kind of able to do that is because there's not as many barricades. Um, the barricades, they are weak to blunt. So having another blunt attack, which the hammer strike is, does more damage to them. So we can kind of take that out because he doesn't have that many you know, barricades. And we'll go in like this. Um, we're going to start off with one cannon and then a couple pyromancers and see what his wave troops looks like. The cannon will help us take out the spike right here. Um, so we're going to firestorm right away. I'm 
going to use a sword rain. We need cannons to kill the uh, firebolt tower in the corner there. Able to get all these guys with the firestorm because they were up too close to the corner there. Okay, so I was able to check out and kind of scout what he's got up there. Fortunately, my pyromancers and cannons didn't attack the firebolt tower on the corner over there. Typically, if you can call them over the corner, you'll make them go and attack that corner. So we're going to try and call them over here. And we need to get rid of that. So one more cannon should be able to take care of it. Uh, it's stalled us quite a bit there. I'm going to take out the barricade. And see, the stun spell prevents all those towers from doing any damage for the duration, which is six seconds right now. Way too many mortars. Way, 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 way too many mortars. And see, he doesn't have any arrow towers left over here, so I'm able to just come back and slowly take out the towers one by one and also regenerate as I'm doing that. I come up here and try and hit as many things as I can. The mortars, they do a good amount of damage on their initial hit, but a lot of their damage is through the poison effect. You can see there's like four mortars in each wave. It's way too many. If you had a little bit more archers, or blasters, um, or even if you wanted a, a unit that's not going to die with, with the sword rain, put a cannon. Put cannons instead, or at least one cannon instead. Because the mortars aren't as bad as the pyromancers to have a lot of in a wave. Because the mortars actually do a decent chunk of damage on their shot of the cannon. But the poison effect is wasted because it won't do double damage on the poison. But all in all, a uh, fairly strong base there. We didn't get very far into it. We only got you know, 30 some odd percent. A lot of the time though was us wasted on this corner fighting that fireball tower. Um, so you can see we did clear out most of his towers. He only has 1, 2, 3, 4, you know two towers left and a couple barricades um yeah archers our blasters cannon uh change out the mortars just a little bit he didn't need the paladins at all the paladins really you know weren't there and it didn't hurt him didn't help him um but changing out some more ranged troops because this was a little tricky to get past it would have gone maybe a little bit easier if i use a hammer strike but the problem is I would have taken all this heat, all this damage here from these guys. And that that's a lot of damage because he did have some arrows over there. He had two arrow towers at least, a poison and a fire tower, a gargoyle and a, a snake. So he had all the status effects over here. He was, you're doing pretty heavy damage over here. So I assume a lot of his opponents end up dying right in this corner. Um, so that's good. And if you add more ranged troops, archers, cannon, our blaster... Um, heck, even a Froster, that would slow them down a little bit, and it would cause them to die more often over here. Um, just take out one of the mortar at least in each of the waves. Um, I think you had like three in most of the waves. If you really want to go that many mortars, just go with two, and then you have five extra points that you can play around with. And you'll see more, effect, like, more benefits with killing people, with having more ranged troops. So you'll get more gems that way, because they'll, they'll probably resurrect once. Um, a lot of people are stubborn. If they die, they resurrect, and then try and go again. So overall, the base is really good. 
the spikes, I don't really think the spikes did much. Uh, and I didn't even have hammer strike on, or that hammer strike typically is the one thing that just kills them instantly. Um, so I probably would replace, if not all the spikes down here, three of them. Um, like I said, these ones put bar barriers, barricades, and then just that will make it a little bit more congested and that will allow more buildup of the ranged troops. Um, and then, so what I would do is I take out this spike, take out this spike for sure. I would probably put a barricade right here so that, and maybe probably up one. So right when you come out of your tent, have a barricade right there. So that way, no, actually I wouldn't because when I see a barricade right there, then I summon out cannons right away. Um, so I would put my first barricade right here on this corner. I would move this one down one, so it would be like right there. The next barricade I would put would put like right here. And then, yeah, so that would be removing this spike and this spike. And then you, I would keep this spike here, actually, because it has the gargoyle towers and the uh, poison tower, the snake. But I would remove this barric or this spike and then put another barrier over here. And then when you have enough for another fireball tower, I would put another fireball tower up here in this corner. And that's how I would optimize your base there. Um, yeah, take out one of the mortars in all those ways, <laughs> please. You'll see a big difference. Uh, trust me on that one. I overall, overall, a very good base, though. Um, you got to see the stun spell in action a little bit. The stun spell actually did a pretty good job in the corner, and that's because it was able to hit a long range. It's just like the Swarm Rain. It has a big range, and it stuns the towers as well. So if that's something you can actually uh, level up, and it's not too expensive to level it up to level 6 or level 7. They go pretty quick and easy. You can see even getting it to level 8, it's only 1.5 million. And it's still only one day and 21 hours to upgrade. So the feed's cutting out there. You won't be able to see that. But the stun spell uh, is worth it, actually, a second look. So, you know, give that a try sometime here and there and see what you think. You may be uh, pleasantly surprised. It's also quite fun to use.